Ladies and gentlemen, uh, and uh, welcome to Just a Minute. Um, we, had to, uh, we set up an executive committee for this weekend, uh, and they came up with various ideas. And somebody came up with this idea for Just a Minute. And somebody... It was you, Simon, it wasn't us. Probably Steph, I should think, because she's not on the panel. <laughs> Thank you, Steph. Uh, and they also said, well, we need somebody... Uh, we need somebody like Nicholas Parsons, some really old, old sort of bumbling geezer. Uh, so naturally, uh, I got that job. So thank you all for that. Now, we're going to try and keep this short and snappy. I should just remind anybody who doesn't know of the rules, uh, as Rory was uh, very kind to remind me of just a moment ago. The idea is you have to speak on a subject for, for, uh, for a minute, uh, without repetition, deviation, and as Rory said, oh, what was the other one? Uh, hesitation. Uh, and uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to call on... Uh, they've got it in the end. Uh, Grant did say to me that uh, this is far too early to do this session. He's, very, he, he's just got back at uh, uh, 7 o'clock, I think you got in, didn't you, Grant? Yes, I watched the sunrise this morning with Mark <laughs> Worthington. <laughs> <She's>, uh, <laughs> that man's a Mark Worthington, that's a very bad influence. <laughs> uh, yeah. Now, I'm going to call, um, uh, we're going to do this in alphabetical order by Christian name. I'm just going to very briefly introduce some of them. We've got Adam Memon there, we've got uh, Emma Carr here, Grant Tucker here. I don't know if he's awake, but he's here in the bodily anyway. Uh, we've got jo Jonathan Isabi here, Kate Andrews, and Rory Broomfield. Uh, so, so the bad news, of course, for Adam is that that means that he kicks off. And Adam, your special subject for one minute, your subject for one minute, without reputation, hesitation or deviation, is Margaret Thatcher. By far the most important thing to consider when discussing Margaret Thatcher is her time as Prime Minister of the United Kingdom from 1979 to 1990. We must also remember that she was a mem an MP since 1959 to 1979 before becoming Prime Minister. And one of the most important... Prime Minister, reputation of... Rory, you have 40 seconds starting now. Well, Margaret Thatcher was an inspiration for freedom around the world and not just in the United Kingdom. On a domestic agenda, she had a whole range of subjects and areas that she wants to roll back, including the size and uh, uh, <laughs> 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 was, I think that was probably Jonathan uh, there. Jonathan, what's your, what's your claim on that? Oh, very much hesitation. Hesitation, very definitely. Jonathan, you have 38 seconds starting now. Margaret Thatcher is a political hero of mine, and I in fact once wrote a poem about her, and I wish I could remember it in its entirety, because I would be able to deliver it and be able to uh, give you the whole minute's worth of talk about her. Certainly it began, I'd like to say a word or two about a certain woman well known to you, born to a grocer in the town of Grantham, roll back the state was her glorious anthem. And I talked about the fact that, I can't remember the rhymes, but she had been a student of chemistry, she'd been a student of law, she had become a chemist, she had become a barrister, and then Jonathan, that's it, thank you very much. Another word to Jonathan. So, Jonathan Lee was right, right. right now, and the next one uh, is Emma, Emma Carr from Big Brother Watch, and yours, I think appropriately, is George Orwell. Emma, you've got uh, 60 <laughs> seconds of George Orwell starting now. I think one of the many problems with the education system these days is that many people don't know who George Orwell actually is. In fact, we have numerous emails and letters and phone calls contacting Big Brother Watch asking if we're related to the well-known TV series on Channel 4, which of course we are not. And when I try and explain who George Orwell is, I met with bafflement, and then I continuously am asked, how do you apply to Big Brother Watch, thinking that it is still Big Brother Watch? Repetition. No. No. Correct, correct challenge. Uh, and that's over to Kate, who now has 33 seconds. One of the biggest crimes against humanity today is Big Brother. He watches over all of us, he films us in the streets, we walk alone. Who is this Big Brother? 
Is that Jojo? Is that the subject? You mean the idiot? I'm getting to that. Incorrect terms, carry on telling me. George Orwell is an inspiration to all of us because far back, what was it, shall we say, 40, 30 something years ago, George Orwell used his brilliant mind and his ability to write and communicate through language to talk to us about what we'd be experiencing today, which is an overwhelming nanny state that takes away our rights when we can't even realize it's That's happening. That's it. One minute. Well done, Kate. <laughs> so as it stands at the moment, um, uh, Kate has one point, Jonathan has one point, and Rory's now minus one. <laughs> 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 John, that's correct challenge, Jonathan. Thank you for that. Jonathan's got extra points. <laughs> thank you, thank you so much for that, Jonathan. <laughs> we're, next, we're on to Grant Tucker. And Grant, your special subject is Newport, Monmouthshire. When I was a child, my father said to me, Grant, Newport is the best place in all of Britain. The reason why... I, I was breathing! <laughs> <laughs> I won't accept that challenge, so then I'll put it back down to one point. <laughs> Having questioned the gentleman before, um, and uh, I'm showing no favourable advice at all to my fellow countrymen, then to be continued Grant. It is a place where the sun shines, in a place where people... Um, I stop myself. <laughs> I think I'm giving you a, 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 a point yes, yes. For, for challenging yourself correctly. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, and it, so, so you can continue. <laughs> it was deliberate, Simon. <laughs> I know that, I, didn't, I didn't want to continue, so continue. America has New York, Britain has Newport. <laughs> River Rusk, the Transport Bridge, Kingsway Shopping Centre, we have a dragon, we have pebbles, we have shops. Newport is the place to be, it is a place to move. You should all leave Bournemouth now. What's that challenge of repetition in place? Correct challenge, Adam. <laughs> now go to uh, Adam, you have 31 seconds on Newport Monmouthshire. Yeah. <laughs> I have never been to Newport in Wales, but if I did, one of the most important things that I would like to do there is to visit the beach. I do not know if such a thing exists. There's no beach in Newport. <laughs> The best thing about Newport is its transport links. You can very easily leave it. Um, <laughs> oh, that was very much a... No, it's a place in Wales. <laughs> <laughs> I was saying you can it. No. <laughs> um, there is a place in Iraq. No, no, please continue, Grant. <laughs> 13 no. seconds left. Glenavon is nearby, the big pit coal mines. You've got Cardiff with this wonderful Millennium Stadium where Wales tend to win rugby, except when they go to Twickenham, where we tend... Deviation, Wales never win the rugby. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday, 53. <laughs> I think we're you're Scottish, I did right there. Uh, Grant, you have one, one, uh, one, one second left on new Portland. Yes. 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 Cass now is. Yes, that's it. Uh, uh, give a round of applause. <laughs> we now get on to we uh, now come on to uh, Jonathan Isabey uh, and uh, Jonathan, your special subject. I uh, picked this because uh, I suffered uh, your version of it uh, recently. Your special subject is karaoke. <laughs> Yeah, that's not yeah. Uh, karaoke is actually something I enjoy doing a great deal. I, Simon heard me do it uh, just a couple of weeks ago when I gave my rendition of Your Song by Elton John, which is my particular favourite uh, uh, thing to sing in the karaoke session. I, in fact, sang it at my own wedding uh, towards the end of the uh, first night. And I also sang Angels by Robbie Williams uh, when I was doing karaoke. How many errors are you yeah, going to say during this? <laughs> 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 
I, I, I'm, I'm just, just don't give it back to me. Can I nominate somebody <laughs> instead? <laughs> I'm going to give Jonathan another chance on this because uh, he rejected his uh, challenge before. So, Jonathan, please continue. You've got 35 seconds left uh, on, on, your, on, um, on karaoke. I gather karaoke is a pastime that is much enjoyed in Japan, over in the Far East, where they enjoy taking the microphone and singing to their friends over eating sushi, which also can be indulged in in Firecracker and other many locations in the West End of London. Uh, hesitation. Yes, correct challenge. Uh, the, uh, uh, over to Rory now, you, you have 20 seconds on karaoke, Rory, starting now. Karaoke is a veritable schmooze. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 Adam, uh, what was that on? Hesitation, correct challenge. You now have 18 seconds on, you have 18 seconds on karaoke, starting now. I would be absolutely appalling at karaoke, not only because I find it difficult to speak in front of large numbers of people such as this, but also because I'm absolutely... Peter Bacall. <laughs> <laughs> You're very awake, given that... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's an active body experience. <laughs> <laughs> Grant, you, uh, you have nine seconds left of carry, and I'll just give you a warning. We don't want you to actually demonstrate. <laughs> no one likes to put, I was going to do that. No, I'm going to do it. <laughs> uh, starting now. My favourite karaoke song of them all has to be New York, New York by Live. <laughs> You have one second there uh, on karaoke, starting now. Karaoke. Hey. <laughs> right, uh, we, uh, and we now move on to, uh, uh, to, to Kate, Kate Andrews. And Kate, your subject, it's starting, uh, your start subject is Adam Smith, starting now. Undoubtedly, one of the greatest political philosophers of our time, I did not personally get to know Adam Smith, well, ever, because we did not live at the same time. But also, um, I did... Repeat, oh. uh, repeat, um, uh, uh, no, 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 just, uh. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 correct challenge, Grant, so... <laughs> As a child, I attended Lisbury High School, and one of my best friends was Adam Smith. He was a very good chap. He was just around the corner. We played lots and lots of uh, sports, <laughs> which is clearly a lie, I know. Rory, you have 30, 36 seconds on Adam Smith starting now. Adam Smith was one of many great philosophers and economists that we know in the world. One of which is also the name. Challenge him. It was a Adam Smith. Uh, sorry. Hesitation. Hesitation. Correct challenge. Adam, you have uh, 27 seconds on Adam Smith starting now. Adam Smith is a hero to me not only because he shares my name, but because he is the father of microeconomics. He discussed in his book, The Wealth of Nations, the pin factory, which was where he described the concept of specialization. Described twice. Really? Yeah. Correct, Charles. I can't get over how awake you are. And you now have uh, 13 <laughs> seconds on Adam Smith starting now, Grant. I don't think Adam Smith is a great philosopher. He just tended to chuck me in the bin. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yes, correct challenge, Kate. Okay. You, you, you have eight seconds on Adam Smith to start it now. The anniversary of the Wealth of the Nations was last week, in case anyone wasn't aware. And to celebrate, I think that we should all join together in... Well done, that's it. Yeah, no, well done. I've got to know what we're going to And we now move, um, and last, um, just a minute, um, is, uh, is Rory Broomfield. Uh, and Rory, your, your subject is Switzerland, starting now. <laughs> Switzerland is a beautiful country with a wide range of different varieties of individuals. Yeah. Jonathan? <laughs> correct, correct challenge, Jonathan. You have 52 seconds on Switzerland, starting now. Switzerland is probably the most expensive country I have ever visited in terms of the cost of living. I went there for a wedding a few years ago, it was in Geneva, and it was late at night and I wanted to get something to eat, and I thought, where can I go and buy something to eat? And probably the cheapest place would be McDonald's. And dare I say it, I... He said eat. 
twice. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, correct challenge, uh, well, but then, Rory, uh, you have 35 seconds starting now. Well, Switzerland has a lot of things to eat, including chocolate, including... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> including lots of things. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, oh, Adam, again, yeah. uh, Adam, you have 29 seconds on Switzerland starting now. I visited Switzerland in 2010, and I was taking the train, the interrail, in fact, from Montreal, no, from Grenoble. <laughs> 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 Emma, 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 you have 19 seconds on Switzerland, starting now. So I don't know a lot about Switzerland, but this was a topic of conversation at our dinner last night, and one of the things that I found out is that there were a lot of bears in Switzerland. In fact, there's a wall. Keep it a lot. Yes, correct. Yeah, correct, correct, Charles. Kate, you have nine seconds on Switzerland starting now. I am not convinced that the Von Trapp family was actually able to walk over the mountains in Switzerland. Damn it! That was Austria! That was Austria! You have, Emma, you have three seconds on Switzerland starting now. So the interesting conversation that took place at dinner last night. That's it, well done. <laughs> <laughs> what was this conversation? Now, <laughs> not unrelated to the fact that I've not been very good at keeping the score, but um, so, uh, what I want is, is you to give your intake on this, so I want you to vote by applause for each, each person on this, who you think should have won the stub base. So starting with Adam. Emma. <laughs> Emma Fractionhead Grant. <laughs> Jonathan. <laughs> Grant Blitz and Kate. to Grant and Kate. Give them a big round. <laughs> and now give the whole give the whole panel a very big round of applause. Can I now suggest a subject? Because Simon has just grilled us for the last 20 minutes. <laughs> Simon, you have 60 seconds on freedom. <laughs> Freedom is an excellent quality. It's something about which you can say, uh, create a, a, a weekend. <laughs> <laughs> no, and it's, it's an excellent word. It's actually much better than libertarian. Much as I'm sympathetic to that word. The, 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 the word. Over to you, Crop. I'm not my <laughs> Freedom is a wonderful thing, it's the reason that brought me to Bob. But what? Who am I? Are we still going? Yeah, we got six seconds. We're on 25 seconds. 25 seconds. Well, freedom is captured by many people in this room. And whatever subject you're interested in, you could come here and debate it at the festival. And this is one of the first festivals of its kind, and we'll be running for many times. Festivals. Anyway, go on 44 seconds. All right. Well, festivals. We have many festivals. Nonetheless, this is the very first, and we want to carry it through with many more subjects. And. Oh, no. That's a minute. Oh, no. 